माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर डी एस राय प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग बी वी डी आई टी एम लखनऊ टूडे विल डिस्कस ए कोर्स के सी ई फोर जीरो वन मेटेरियल टेस्टिंग एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन प्रैक्टिस इन विच विल टेक अप लेक्चर ट्वेंटी थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ फ्लोर्स एंड ब्रिक मशीनरीज we'll discuss one by one so the references that i have taken is the indian standard national building code upp roldi detailed specification and some materials have been taken from the internet and the books that i have taken is dr b c punamia building construction the contents i will cover here are mud flooring and muram flooring brick flooring flag stone flooring cement concrete flooring terrazzo flooring tile flooring marble flooring timber flooring asphalt flooring rubber flooring plastic or pvc flooring and brick masonry so first uh, i will take up mud flooring and muram flooring this is a, a very low cost housing especially in village has been constructed in mud flooring chief hard fairly impervious easy to construct easy to repair this is good thermal insulation properties so 25 cm thick select earth is spread and ram to get a compacted earth of 15 cm in order to prevent cracks some quantity of chopped straw is mixed in the moist earth some times Cow, cow dung is mixed in the earth, and the thin layer of this earth is spread over the compacted layer. And sometimes thin paint of cement cow dung is also applied. This type of uh, flooring is generally used in the villages, and th because this is a cheap, low cost, so earlier. Uh, this is used in the villages the second is muram flooring muram is a form of disintegrated rocks with a, a binding property 15 cm muram is spread over the sub subgrade and 2.5 cm muram dust is spread and water is spread over it and rammed well surface is saturated 6 mm water film and well trapped under the feet of man till cream of the morum comes out on the top of the flooring rammed with the wooden rammer called thapis for 3 days so that hard surface is formed thin paste of cow dung is as smeared and rammed for 2 days a coat of mud and cow dung or cow dung and cement is applied over the surface now come to the brick flooring and flag stone flooring used in chief construction and suited for the warehouses stores and go down where the floors required high strength well burnt good bricks of good color shape 
and led with a good looking pattern. 75 7.5 centimeter thick sand layer is a spread and a course of flat brick is led with the mortar as a base course over which brick flooring is laid over 12 centimeter thick cement and lime mortar. Joints are rendered flushed and finished. So, this is the brick flooring. The brick is the main uh, material which is used in brick flooring and it is used where the strength requirement is more like go downs, stores, etcetera, etcetera. Now, flag stone flooring. Any laminated sand stone available in 2 to 4 centimeter thick in a form of 30 into 30 centimeter to 60 into 60 centimeter, either a square or a rectangular. It is also called paving. 10 to 15 centimeter base is prepared with the lime concrete or the lean concrete. Flag stone are laid over 20 to 25 mm thick mortar bed. Flash plus pointing is in 1 into 3 cement mortar with the slope for drainage has been done and properly cured. Now, cement concrete flooring and terrazzo flooring. In cement concrete flooring, it is used in residential, commercial or industrial building. This consists of two component, one is base concrete and wearing surface. It may laid monolithically or non monolithically. 7.5 to 10 centimeter base concrete with the lean concrete in 1 is to 5 is to 10 with 60 percent of 40 mm aggregate is lead. When base course is hardened, the topping is laid in the square and rectangular pattern of 1 meter into 1 meter to 2 meter into 2 meter and 1 meter into 2 meter by the use of glasses, plain asbestos strip or wooden batten set on the mortar bed. The topping consists of 1 is to 2 is to 4 cement concrete led to desired thickness usually 40 mm. A spread evenly with a straight edge and surface is thoroughly tamped and floated with a wooden float till the cream of concrete comes up to the top of the flooring. Dust, the dusting of surface with the neat cement and troweling result in a smooth surface at the top and cured for 7 to 14 days. Then terrazzo flooring, yeah, another type of floor finish that is laid in the thin layer over the concrete topping. Due to decorative and good wearing property, it is widely used in the public building. Terrazzo is prepared concrete surface containing cement and marble chips of different color in proportion of 1 is to 1.25 to 1 is to 2. After setting, the chips are exposed by grinding operation. Marble chips may vary from 3 mm to 6 mm. Wax polish may apply with the polishing machine. This is made now mosaic flooring and tile flooring. This uh, mosaic flooring is made of a small pieces of broken tiles 
of china glazed or marble arranged in different pattern these pieces are cut into the desired shape and size 5 to 8 centimeter lime surkhi mortar is spread and level such that mortar may not get dry before the finish of work is completed. 3 mm thick cementing material in the form of the paste of two part of slag lime and one part of marble dust and one part of pozzolana material is spread and is left to dry for about 4 hours. Thereafter, a small pieces of broken tiles or a marble piece are arranged in a definite pattern and hammered in the cementing layer. Rolled by a stone roller of 30 centimeter dia and 40 to 60 centimeter long, a sprinkling water over the surface so that cementing material comes up through the joints allow for dry and rubbed with the pumic stone to get a smooth and polished surface so the next is a, a tile flooring is constructed from a square hexagonal or other shape made of clay pottery cement concrete or terrazzo available in different thickness size and use in residential and public building available as a laying of the tile flooring procedure is same as a flag stone except great care is required in the tile flooring. The bedding mortar is laid and allowed to harden for 1 to 12 to 24 hours. The tiles are laid flat over it and gently pressing them into the bedding mortar with the help of wooden mallet till level surface is obtained. The joints between the adjacent tile are cleaned of those mortar to a depth of 5 mm with the using wire brush and the grouted with a cement salary of same color set as of tiles cure for 7 days. Thereafter, grinding and polishing are done as a terrazzo flooring. The marble flooring, superior type of flooring used in bathroom, kitchen, hospital, temple, etc., where extra cleanliness is required. Marble slabs are available in a square and rectangular shape. Marble slabs are laid over 20 mm thick bedding mortar of 1 is to 4 cement and sand mix and gently pressed by the wooden mallet and leveled. The marble slab again lifted up and fresh mortar is added to the hollow of the bedding mortar with the cement rally slightly mortar is hardened slightly and cement slurry is spread over the is of the already laid slab are smeared with the cement slurry paste and then the marble slab is placed in position gently pushed with the wooden mallet so that cement paste may come out from the joints the joints are clean with the cloth and allowed to cure for a week. Now come to the timber flooring. 
this is used for the carpentry hall, dancing hall or auditorium. It is very costly, so it is not used in India except in hilly region where the timbers are cheaply available. Damp proofing is the major problem of timber flooring. There are two types of timber flooring. One is suspended type means the flooring is not in contact with the ground and second is solid type in which a base is prepared over which timber flooring is made. So, we can see here this is the suspended suspended timber, timber ground floor. This is the floor board, this is a ground floor joist, these are the joist. This is the honeycomb sleeper wall and this is a damp proof course means this joist is not in the con direct contact with the walls. That the surface concrete and concrete uh, this is a concrete foundation led before laying of the timber flooring. Here is the air bricks and uh, damp proof course at the ground level. So, we can see here the timber flooring this is the floor board. So, timber flooring is not laid directly over the ground it is laid over the ground floor timber joist. So, it is not in the contact of ground. So, uh, damping or moist condition could be avoided. This is the supported type of timber floor or this is the solid type of timber flooring. You can see here this is the uh, base concrete that has been laid and this is the wall, this is the sleeper wall, this is the wall, uh, wires, this is the uh, sleeper plate, this is the sleeper plate, these are the joists that have been laid over the sleeper plates, wall plates and this is a DPC here and here in both cases. DPC will not allow any moisture to come up and in, in the contact with the boarding. This is the ground level. So, see the, uh, this one here, these are the voids in the wall and this is the sleeper wall. So, this will prevent the entry of the moisture in the timber flooring. Now, come to the asphalt flooring and they are of many types. Asphalt mastic flooring is the mixture of sand grit asphalt in the ratio of 2 is to 1 and mix hot and laid in continuous sheet. Then the asphalt tiles flooring prepared from asphalt, asbestos fiber, inert material, mineral pigments by pressing the mix in different size with the thickness varying from 3 mm to 6 mm. Now, asphalt terrazzo prepared similar to the mastic asphalt except marble chips are used in place of sand and grit. The another type of asphalt flooring is acid proofing mastic flooring, acid proof block of asphalt are available and asphalt blocks are laid over the concrete base and then acid proofing asphalt is uniformly spread over the block. Now, come to the rubber flooring consists of sheet or the tiles of rubber in varying color and the pattern. 
मैन्युफैक्चर बाय मिक्सिंग प्योर रबर विद द फीलर सच एज कॉटन फाइबर ग्रेनुलेटेड कॉक एसबेस्टस फाइबर सीट्स और टाइल्स आर फिक्स विद एडहेसिव रेजिलियंट इट इज रेजिलियंट एंड नॉइज प्रूफ सो इट इज यूज वेयर देर इज नो नीड ऑफ नॉइज और नॉइज प्रूफ एरिया इज रिक्वायर्ड यूज ओनली इन द ऑफिस एंड पब्लिक बिल्डिंग बिकॉज इट इज वेरी कॉस्टली नाउ लेनियोनियम फ्लोरिंग इट इज कवरिंग विच इज अवेलेबल इन द रोल and it is commercially available in the market uh, it is easily available it is spread directly over the concrete and udal wood and flooring manufactured by mixing our oxidized linseed oil in gum resin pigment wood floor cork dust and it is a plain or a printed available in 2 to 6 mm and 2 to 4 meter wide rolls linoleum tiles are also available which can be fixed on the base concrete or wooden flooring it cannot be used in bathroom or the kitchen because this will create a big problem uh, when it is used there where where there is a, a tendency of coming water the next is cork flooring the cork cork flooring it is perfectly noiseless so it is used in library theater art gallery board casing station it is available in cork carpet and cork tiles it is fixed to concrete base by inserting a layer of saturated felt then the glass flooring The, this is used for a special purpose where it is desired to transit light from upper floor to lower floor or ground floor to the basement this is available in tiles and slab of thickness 12 mm to 30 mm fixed very closely to sustain anticipated load it is very costly uh, flooring because it is used where uh, uh, the it is necessary to use transmit light from top floor to bottom or one floor to another floor it is commonly not used the plastic and pvc uh, uh, flooring it is quite popular and made of polyvinyl chloride pvc it is manufactured in the tile in the different size and the color widely used in the residential and non residential building fixed on base with the adhesive it is costly and also the minus point is it is a very slippery so the chances of pull down is very common in the pvc flooring now come to the flooring materials the flooring materials that are used for different type of flooring that is mud and muram mud is available all where in the india and muram is generally found in vindhyachal range from rabatganj mirzapur prayagraj where this muram is widely available because it has a binding property so it is used for different purpose but here we use muram as a flooring materials the bricks is the another material which is used for making floors then the concrete floors concrete means cement aggregate 
fine uh, coarse sand and water is required for the concrete flooring. In a terrazzo, terrazzo flooring when the pigments are required. Mosaic flooring, the broken tiles and marbles are required. Then granulithic finish is also given. Asphalt, rubber, linoleum, cork, glass and PVC are the different type of material used for construction of the flooring. Now come to the brick masonry. Brick masonry is made of bricks unit bonded with mortar to act as a homogeneous mass. The type of mortar used in the brick masonry are cement mortar, it is from 1 is to 6 to 1 is to 3 and that is used depends upon where it is used. Then the lime mortar, the setting time is very high. The cement lime mortar, the next is lime surki mortar, then mud mortar, mud mortar is also used in the villages for inferior quality of work. Now a strength of brick masonry depends on the quality of the brick, quality of mortar and method of bonding. So, these parameters required for a strength of big masonry. Bond in brickwork. Bond is interlacement of bricks form when they are lay, those immediately below or above them. The method of arranging bricks in the course so that individual units are tied together and the vertical joints of successive courses do not lie in the same vertical line. Means suppose this is a course of a brick. So, next course, uh, next course will be not like this is a not a correct procedure. We can make it like this way. So, the, this, the vertical joint is not in a vertical uh, line. Now, bond. The bond is the process by which the masonry is constructed. The bonds are a stretcher bond, header bond, English bond, Flemish bond, facing bond, English cross bond, brick on edge bond, Dutch bond, raking bond, zigzag bond, garden wall bond. So, these are the different bonds used for the masonry construction. First is a stretcher bond and a header bond. So, a brick have a face, this is the length of a brick and this is the width of the brick. When it is measured or it is led in the length wise, then it is called a stretcher and the construction of walls with the longer edge is called a stretcher bond, where the a small face of the bricks is called header when it is uh, in elevation it is seen uh, a, a small area of the bricks then it is called headers bond. So, this is the isometric view of the stretcher bond, this is the elevation, this is the plan and this is the plan. Likewise, this is isometric view, here you can see this is the header, header 
this is the header. So, in this way, this is an isometric wave, this is the elevation, this is a plan, and this is also a plan. So, this is the English bond and the Flemish bond, and we will discuss it in the next class. So, thank you very much. We will discuss it in the next class. Thank you very much.